Today marks a special day. We have the top 250 players in all of FC 24. We have never included this many players in one video. As per usual, we have broken rank one foot champs debatable and the pie. So if you appreciate it, please drop a like and then get in the comment sections. It'll tell me and the editing team that you want more of this. The second coming of Pele, I still like the item. I believe in him being foot champs and we're gonna move quickly. She's underrated, overlooked, undercooked. Put her back in the oven, let her get some minutes. Bon Mati, surely still has to be broken. Surely the second Bon Mati, the 91 overall. She's kind of a sleeper, still be good for the weekends. Again, movement on point. Garnacho, and I hate the price point. All these new players solely based on scarcity, just a mess. You can't get them, you can't pack them, you can't unlock them, you can't buy them. Mateus has to be. She's been phenomenal. Absolutely brilliant this year. The green Mateus still going to cost you plenty. You have to have some green to unlock that green. I'm giving her rank one, but maybe she should be broken. And again, I'm putting out an early feeler, but we do a review at the end of the video. I might add a couple different categories. I've never had this many players in front of me. Even the gold Mateus, I still think it's foot champs. We don't need to regrade the gold with the green. I think that is an extra player that we don't need in action. Allison, goalkeepers really deserve their own category, a different category. I'm still gonna give Allison rank one, one of the best goalkeepers in the game. Even his gold item, prime time, premium quality. I don't know if the Allison center mid can get in the, the, the lineup. I like what we've got in foot champs above him. That's where my stance is. This Fadi is quick-witted. It's gonna kill on the weekends. He's gonna give you a lot of reaction, a lot of danger. Mm-hmm. Bacha. She has been something special this year. We included the 90 as well. If I'm putting the 91 just above in rank one, the 90 should go to foot champs. Some of y'all might agree. Some of you may disagree just because of the input, the timelines, the longevity that Bacha has given you. And I'll hear those cases. This new Baggio is kind of nice. I'm happy that EA finally gave him an upgrade that feels a little more usable. With that being said, his Italian counterpart, Baresi, you do not want to go near. Don't touch him. Beckham for the weekend. I think we're reaching if we're trying to push him into rank one i know that we all love david beckham what he stands for how he was as a player his cadence his composure his ability the interviews the pop culture i understand i get it we all want to be david beckham i get it jude bellingham to the top you're gonna to see this a lot with the team of the year players at least until we start breaking off into different categories i wanted to throw in another jude bellingham because so many of us can't afford jude bellingham i kind of still think this 89 is good enough for me for the weekend kareem the dream i've always loved uh and i i just don't know if he's getting outpaced now at this point i, I think the competition is too fierce we've seen this item a lot Still got a nasty underrated R1 dribble. Bird camp, you can't do it. I don't like doing it. We can just pass over that. I think Georgie Best has to be broken for me. This guy is something special. Shimmy shake, drop the shoulder, rerun the golden years. A lot of glory. The man's an MVP. Bobby Charlton, at least the weekend. I know some of you will say, Mike, gotta be rank one. Look at some of the players around him. I still love Bomb Pastor. Am I that biased? Yes. She's going to rank one for now. Victor Boniface, six foot four. Interesting item. I think there might be some debate here. Not my favorite play styles. The power shot a lot of people like. For me, it's the size and the strength and the skills that give you something unique. Bright has not moved the needle. Is it wrong to not include her in at least foot champs? Probably. We'll give her the notch, but I just want to be clear. She is not a needle mover. Bruno Fernandes. I like him. That guy came full circle. Jao Cancelo sort of got surpassed. And I used him early on. I still feel very comfortable with him on the ball. Something's wrong with the defending. I don't know if it's the positioning. I don't know if it's the chase back or the physicality, but I've always asked for more. Butragueno, I love him. Some of y'all might have him in foot champs just based on the criteria, based on the player pool, but I really like Butragueno. It is what it is. Cafu, one of the best to do it. I don't know if rank one's enough. I'm teasing it early. You've got the second Cafu, which I have from an SBC, as do many of you. Great value SBC. I don't think I can put them one-to-one -one here because the 92 is definitely better, noticeably better, my opinion. Cannavaro, what do we do with them? I love this upgrade. It's a big boy upgrade. We were shouting from the rafters for Cannavaro, and he's not really an expensive SBC. Two play styles is good. I don't know that I'm going to move him beyond there. Cantona's kind of been my main man. I can't just start disrespecting him. He's done so much for the culture. Roberto Carlos, big upgrade. 
I, I think he's moving into broken. That man is elite out wide. Carlos Alberto, I'll still use him for the weekend. Can play him as a fullback, can play him as a center back, but I find that Cafu, at least that 92, is giving you a little more juice. Casemiro, I don't really like him, sorry. The 90 Casillas, I don't know that I'm getting on board with this either. However, the 92 Casillas, I would take even to rank one. I don't know why. There's such a big discrepancy, but I feel it. If you really want, I can put this Casillas into debate. So you just have a two notch when you when you move upwards. Petr Cech, fantastic goalkeeper, rank one. Please and thank you, great size. Ashley Cole has not been that dominant. I still believe in him for a fullback role. This Pena item, good times. Great SBC again. We have to look at these items and say, well, how many of them had an SBC? Many of these players, you can't make a market move. It pains me. Rui Costa and I have a fantastic FIFA history. We go through the years, early icons, when they used to be called legends. I remember you, Rui, but it hasn't been like that for quite some time. This Courtois, I'm really on the fence with. I'll still give him the weekend for sure, but I would rather or I'd feel like I'm in safer hands with some of those other icon goalkeepers that we have seen come into motion. If anything, I would actually go with the Courtois striker who, who's ironically been being used as a fullback lately in EMLS just to defend some of the crosses. He's trying to match up with Holland. Cruyff to the top has to be there. 95 overall for a reason. King Kenny, I'll put him in the weekend. He should be there. Diaz, I think, actually is getting a downturn or a slippery slope, but downgrade. Is it fair? Maybe, maybe not. It's just how I feel. KDB, I don't know if he's as good as the rest that are in Broken currently. So I've got to start being harsh. I'm even going to take his Centurions and lean more towards a debate. I think some of you will really like him. I think others will say, I expected more. The Bina is not getting in lineups. And I just don't mean any disrespect. Even Del Piero, who I've always had in foot champs. I'm not ready to move him out of foot champs. I won't do it. I refuse to do it. De Jong's kind of getting surpassed now, but he put in a lot of work this year. It was a phenomenal item. Dembele hasn't been the same juice or hasn't had the same juice, but I, I still feel an obligation to get him into the weekend. I really like this uh, Diani. Would recommend, highly recommend. Donnarumma's been a lovely goalkeeper. Would maybe even be my goalkeeper of choice at the moment. Feels very trusted. Drogba, if you're new in these parts, this guy crushes my soul on the weekend every time. It seems to be a reoccurring theme. However, when I have him, I don't do the same work or the body of work. I'm not going to the gym the same way. We also just saw Drogba play in that charity game, scored a couple bangers. Jekko, Pine. I think Erps is going to the Pine. I've got to start doing what's right. Ederson, I like him a lot. Again, trusted for me, rank one. Essien, fantastic item. I'd also slot him into rank one. Bit more of a pit bull, strong as an ox. Eto is getting a downgrade for me. I still have to have him in at least foot champs. Eusebio, I don't know if I'm ready to get out of broken. He's caused so much pain. Rio Ferdinand, good for the weekend for sure. Maybe a case for rank one. The big upgrade though to the top. I think of him, I think of Virgil van Dijk, even Vieira, if you wanted to play him as a center back. There's just a few guys that you know you're not getting past. Frimpong, best in his position. This is where it's hard for Cafu. Would you take Cafu instead of Frimpong? I don't think you would. We have the Thunderstruck. Very fast, super quick. Shout out to Byron Leverkusen. Frimpong, the second coming, goes for the weekend. Fuchu is a problem. I, I think he goes rank one. You can let me know how you feel. If you've used Fuchu this year, gone up against him. Silky, smooth, electric. I don't know how long it will last, but this new hero fantasy joint, dangerously good. Forlan. Sorry, brother. I'm not happy about it either, homie. Grincha, I'd still say has rank one, but he's just not what he once was. I want that to be so clear. My messaging to be... Like this, we're seeing eye to eye. Stevie G for the weekend, but I'm also concerned about longevity as per usual. Not really a meta player, even with the upgrades and the shifts and the changes, just doesn't have that it factor when it comes to the virtual pitch. Does Janola still get that top slot? Does he still get into broken? Have players caught up to him? I'm still not enjoying it. I'm just not. Janola kind of has that epitome of broken definition or by definition even at a 90 this julie is a fantastic sbc i i leaning i almost want him in rank one i'm right there i swear he's priced at like 80 or 90 000 coins which at, at this current stage of an sbc that is free r us and then you have griezmann who somehow cost four million coins as this is being recorded i've enjoyed using all the versions of Griezmann. I'm still going to give him rank one, but I wouldn't even be surprised for some of you if that feels more foot champs like. The shooting, the curvature, the trajectory, even the first touches, it's right. What's right is right. Rude Hullet, I'm going to give him 
uh, rank one as per usual. Not ready to move him out. But I'm looking at the 89, which a lot of you completed earlier on this year. I'm going to slot him into rank one. So we have a separation. Holland, team of the year. This guy's been breaking the game. If you've been watching the pro scene. In fact, I just put out a video on the playbook channel. The tips and the tutorials. If you'd like to subscribe there, that would be highly appreciated. We're still working very hard, even late game to keep getting content on that channel heavily. We've been working so hard this year in general to bring you guys the short form, the long form. We started a football storytelling channel, which I believe is chef's kiss. I do have a bias, but it's it's different. I think it's needed, it's fitted. The response has been amazing thus far. And we even started a finance channel. We're doing it all this year. We're working hard. Holland, I think I would have preferred the Dynasty instead of the Champions League, but they're both a 94. I'm going rank one. Even the 91 Holland will do the weekend for you still. Current day, present day, still. Haji, he's got a, uh, the comp's too heavy. I don't know what to do here. I'm going to give him the debate because I like him and I've enjoyed using him, but I don't know that many of you will have a placement for Haji. Super Mario, same situation. Big fan of Super Mario. Where does he go? Where do we put him into motion? We're not talking about Balotelli. We're talking about Balotelli. Be a different story. That man's stats are so silly for me. Mia Ham. We've got a couple of them. I just, I, I don't know if I could separate the Mias. I'm just calling it what it is. I got the 95. I got the 93. The majority of you watching will never see the 95, but you have a chance and you can work towards a 93. It depends on a lot of facets of the game in terms of packs, money spent. You're getting what you pay for. It is a broken item. No doubt. Broken item. Speaking of, Hanson. You joined Mia Ham. She's just pure filth. Disgusting. Scores for fun ruthless does not take prisoners this hansen you should also be familiar with and for me she's still going rank one i have had nightmares about the red hansen looking like freddy krueger with the trailblazer joint lauren hemp i like a lot i have a personal bias i wouldn't be mad if you had her in the debate i've just gotten on so well with her we've had a, a steady relationship we have had corresponding views that have aligned on the virtual pitch terry Henry, what do we do here is he past the rank one I think he is. I think he is. It's not the common theme, but this Henri has torched me every single time. A couple little step overs and he's off. He should be like that. He should be filth. He should be a killer. He should be an assassin on the virtual pitch. This year, I think he is. However, the 91 is very different. I'm even going foot champs. He's not the same threat whatsoever. I don't make the rules. I'm just the reporter. I'm just giving you my opinion. Teo Hernandez. Broken for sure. Again, when you're looking at best in the position, we have to talk about it. 88 overall Teo, you're going to still pay a premium. I think you get what you pay for here. Still great. Still rank one levels. Hierro, don't do that to yourself. Jarzinho, I'd love him to be broken, but I don't think he's quite there. He's got to be one notch down. Lauren James, I'm actually going into the debate because this level of competition is fierce. And I used her and I didn't feel like she was at that next level. Gabby Jesus, I don't know if I want to put him into rank one either. For sure, good for the weekend. I like the way that he moves and grooves and has that Brazilian expression. I think the price tag is unreasonable. And I'm not sure if people are getting his price tag mixed up with his ability. I said all that and I'm still going to move him right back up to rank one. He's better than what we got in foot champs. I'm looking, you're looking. Jao, Pedro, yes sir. Kaka, and I want to issue my own personal apology for what Speed did during that charity game. That was uncalled for. He needs to put more respect on your name. I hope that you talk to him separately. People need to remind him of who you are. Lovely ambassador for the sport. One of the best to do it. Harry Kane, I don't like him. I understand. I'm going to put both the Harry Canes into the pine. Anytime that I use Harry Kane, I always have to build a complete team around him to have a chance to make it work. I don't like that. Conte, still good for the weekend. Karkawi, fun to use. She's going to the top. I would still go for Teo Hernandez if defending is your first route Carcali at the 88 oof she's trending down but i don't think the debate is right ah i'm gonna let that rip i think the debate is right there all right what are we doing with kerr i think sam kerr has one of those wonder strikes i mean the power it's remarkable sam kerr for the radioactive she is gonna join kareem the dream i'm sorry that's what it is Kessler, a lot of fun again under the radar for sure good enough for the weekend Kimmick all day for the weekend I don't know if he gives us enough for rank one. It's kind of cuspy. I feel like the game adapted well for Kimmich, mainly because of all these deep passes and swinging the ball from side to side. He fits into that and he breaks up the plays. I have him. You probably have him as well. Miroslav, 
legend icon i'm happy that he has an item that's better than his striker item but still the pine vincent company is never going to be able to fit a fitted hat i guess that's my way of saying he's got a a large noggin he got a serious head space i'm giving him a uh, broken i feel like that was odd choices of words across the board koulibaly i'll go weekend I think he's lagging a little bit. Coleman, cool for the debate. Tony Cruz is great. I don't know if he's as clear cut though to get out of foot champs. I look at foot champs and some of the cat players that I have in this category. We've already got the likes of Kimmick. Kimmick and Tony, that's good for Tony. I'm being somewhat harsh. We got Kessler. Like these are proper comparables in the midfield, in my opinion. Philip Lom. I've kind of been always this guy that's on the fence with Philip Lom. So we're going to give him foot champs. The same. With Loudrip, I might even prefer Loudrip, which is a super hot take. Lewandowski's not getting real burn for me. My apologies. Lineker, no sir. Certain things have not changed within the mic ecosystem. Yes, I'm talking in third person in this video. Hashtag organics. Lipman in. I remember the good old days, brother. But to the pine, I think little has to be there too. Lucio's good money. I've always had a lot of trust for him. I'm going to get him into rank one. I have a feeling by the time that this drops, Lucio might have an upgraded item. So I'm recording before that item is released. Vicente's good, man. Vicente's good. Rank one. Hugo Lloris. I'm okay with him being a foot champs. I know some of you love him. He never moved the needle for me. Lukaku, please don't spend whatever his price is. I'll give him the debate, but you got to be good with a certain type of striker to make that work. Luis Figo, I always talk about it, or I feel like I talk about it. I'm not happy about my placement there. I want him to be better. I just don't think that he is. Something's always missing. Mane can get some weekend league minutes. Ooh, Maldini finally getting some upgrades that he deserves. Put my man into broken immediately. But we've got the 92 Maldini, which I still think probably rank one even without some of the play styles i just feel that he puts his body in between himself and defenders so well i don't know what to do with marquinhos i would usually lean on him being more of a weekend league player i know this is a big upgrade for him i, I think it's enough to make him a little more interesting and to probably slot him in uh at least rank one if you have marquinhos and foot champs i'm not upset at that you know what i don't care he's going down to foot champs you guys can tell me how you disagree loud turo ah uh, you see the stats and you think yes he's gonna be juiced never is juiced lothar absolutely broken really big upgrade now with the skills a little more expression a little more versatile i like everything about him even the 90 lothar the madhouse probably still put him into rank one He's done the job. He's done the job. He's earned my trust. I'm not taking that away from him. Mbappe, who's going to end up getting his own damn tier. Broken for sure. We have the SBC Mbappe. And I also have the gold Mbappe. What do we do here? I think he's got to go into broken too. And we're going to have to make another category at some point. You've been told early there's going to be another category. I'm not willing to put the 91 Mbappe just in foot champs. At least in rank one. Really, he's still kind of broken. I'm using the 91 Mbappe scores for fun. McManaman, I think he's gotten caught up too. There was a moment though. I don't want to take that away from him. Marnelli, you can get into foot champs for sure. He had to pay a lot if I recall that. SBC was not cheap. Mendy, Jesus. I don't think we're going to have the other Mendys in this video just based on the ratings. I would put even the 87 and the 85 would be on the board here. Probably rank one. How much is... Wait, what's the price check on that Mendy? Bro, 6 million coins for a left back. Team of the year, Messi. I did not get a free one. I'm jealous. I tossed the radioactive on this with the 92, which I would give rank one. Huge upgrade for Messi too, because his 90, I don't know if his 90 is good enough even for a foot champs. It dealt with a lot of the speed and maybe the stamina. You didn't get a full match out of him. And he wasn't elite enough to compensate for the time missed on the virtual pitch. Melito, I've never really liked him. And I, I think with this group this company not talking vince modric yes i love it i love that modric is fantastic this year i love that item if you have not given modric some game time you will not be disappointed i promise you bobby moore you're gonna pass on that alex morgan the american dream what a stat room stuffer for the u.s women's national team morientes i typically would inch him into debate i don't think that's gonna be different i will give him the nudge for that bigger full body type if you will i think moeller's getting a little bit of a downsize in this video or slight downgrade weekend league still good no doubt musiala really fun to use i get on with him well if you're using the r1 dribbling you know what i'm gonna say he's all over the place nedved ah oh, i want it i'll just throw him into the debate of my respect and admiration for nedved nesta not giving him love i stay not giving him love neymar 
Oh, man. I, th I think he's still got to be broken. Uh, even with so much comp, put him in there. The Thunderstruck is is really just as good. W what other category? Where are you going to put him? Neymar's gold item is still good enough for the weekend. What a dribbler. Odegaard's been good to go this year, but I, th I think he's kind of getting surpassed at this point. And Kunku, I'm still giving the weekend to him, even though you haven't really seen minutes out of Nkunku. Unfortunately, it hasn't worked out this far at Chelsea. Oberdorf, I'm going to give her the pine for the 90, but I will take the 95 team of the year up to rank one. The extra play styles make a big difference. I, th I think, again, maybe doesn't have the same hype as some of the players, but she, she, she's good. Ona to the top. What a fullback. Elite levels. Doing her thing out wide. OC men, I think I'm coming off like a hater, but I, I could never get on with it. I tried. I didn't have the skills. I just... The execution, the decisiveness, it wasn't there for me. Cole Palmer. I don't know that I'm giving Cole Palmer above rank one. Oh, he's got so many stats in the right places. So much alignment. Patricia, part of the Barcelona group. Decent value there. This Pedri as a theme, also overpriced. I'll give him foot champs, but he's not pushing for levels above that. Not in my opinion. It has not been the year of Pedri. Pele, on a different stance, has to go to the top. If you have the 95, because I don't know if we included both versions, because 95, 96, they'd both be in broken. I'm just putting that into the video. I'm trying to answer the comment section early. Petite, I already used for a weekend. That was a good experience. Would recommend. I played him as a center back. Pirlo, yes, sir. Still don't know how he finessed the five-star skills. At no point, if you watched Pirlo's career, did you describe him as a skiller? Would you say that he was a technical player? Of course. Would you say that he was something special to watch there's an ease to his game no doubt not a skiller pop that's a no-go for the centurions or dynasty whatever the brown one is but we are going to take pops 95 up to rank one which i believe would be a clear consensus prince no chance she has never made it out of the pine at any point i never see in rotations it's not happening we got two puskas and i i think even the 92 i might go foot champs i'll take the 94 um, up to rank one, but he's lagging a little bit with some of his, I guess, superiors, other iconic talent. Puyol is better than he's ever been, but he's still in the debate. I believe in this Raphael Leal item, but he's nearly 10 million coins, and I don't know that he's at this level of elitism that he's getting put on a pedestal. Raul with the finesse, at least to uh, foot champs. I think if you put Puskas there, he's got to be in there. Marcus, I don't know if there's enough of a separation between some of these. I'm going to put the 88 and foot champs, but I will take both the 90s, winter and fire up to rank one. He was even better when the Travellas used to just be automatic. The way that he could set them up, larger body type, super fast, five-star skills. Renard, one of the best center backs in the game. I think she has to be in broken if we're doing this proper, proper. And she's six foot two. However, her fire item, I am much more debatable on. Uh, Ribery for the weekend. The 92 Ribery is so talented. I don't know if he's enough. I don't know if he gets into to the current broken sector, but noticeably better. Rivaldo is not winning me all the way over. Weekend for sure, but I, I just want that recorded. Rodri, what an item. Oh my goodness. You just notice the difference. My confidence having Rodri on the pitch in a midfield role. I even played him as a center back. He just commands... A lot. It's a magnet. The 91 Rodri's. I, I think they're better than probably the foot champs category that we have. So I'm going to give them both. Whether you're going fire, whether you're going ice. The, the margins or the difference is so similar enough where I think they roll together. Ronaldinho. We've got three of them. I think they all have to go to broken. And then you can pick your poison. That's why I said we need another category. It's coming. It's coming in the review section. Because I got to pull up. All these guys. I don't think rank one is suited. I just don't think it, it It doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't sit right with me. R9, who I still view as the greatest striker, pure striker all time. Is that the consensus, by the way? I think that it should be. I believe that it is. R9, greatest striker all time. Agree or disagree? The 95, if you can't get that, go for the 94. I'm just making that sound as if that's easy. Broken, both broken. CR7, also broken. I don't want to discredit anything that Cristiano accomplished. I would easily put Cristiano's career better than R9. I think as a pure striker, prime versus prime, I don't know. Ruben Diaz with the team of the year as a similar theme. The team of the year is kind of straight to broken. I, I, there's not 
anywhere else I could put most of them. The Winter Wild card, he's not that fast, but I don't feel right if he's not still rank one. Definitely good enough to cause problems. Even the 88, I would still run him through a weekend league. Yes, players have caught up. Is he as good as he once was? No, of course not. But I'm just telling you where I would put him. And that's where we're putting him. This Wayne Rooney, I like him a lot into rank one. Good overall numbers. Well balanced. Ruben Diaz, pine. Please don't do that to yourself. That won't go well. Saka hasn't changed. Foot champs, but I don't. he doesn't have room for me to move. I understand Arsenal fans. I understand the support system. I understand the likability. I understand his output on the actual pitch. I get it. I just, I always am asking for more. Salah, that 92 is nice. I'm going rank one. I, I, I just, I don't think he can break into that broken group. He is good as he's been. I would even put the SBC. I'm going to also take that to rank one. Uh, I think the gold Salah is probably more in the debate. You might be reaching to get him into the weekend at this current state. Hugo Sanchez for the Mexicans. I got you. We're going foot champs. Sawa, broken. Jeez, another one of those SBCs. What an SBC. Great value on that because we had the players. We used the players. They gave us more players. She was like a million. Schmeichel for the weekend for sure. Sadorf, unfortunately, is kind of falling off. You don't see him for a reason. Shearer, you can't play him. Can't do it. I'm tempted to move Shevchenko into the debate, but I'm not doing it. I feel as if Chevy is scoring enough goals. If you're good with the through balls, he's there. If you got a 1v1, he's there. Bernardo Silva, a lot of love for him, but I think he's even dropped down. And I always think of the Thunderstruck being his big upgrade or his big momentum push this year. Sophia Smith, oof, what a player, what a player. I'm going to put her into rank one again a lot of these team of the years and i mean i'm showing you what we're doing let me rearrange some blues clues here because we're, we're gonna have some conversations i'm just looking at these items it has to be said i don't want to say we're leaving out but we're choosing not to include some top tier talent in broken just because it's the top 250 and you've already liked the video even sophia smith's 89 really put her on the map i'm giving her the weekend league for sure i like the other smith been upgraded a couple times i say that wrong the other smith but is she good enough to get out of this category yeah puskas here no she's got to be there i got to be fair what's right is right this schneider i don't understand and for that reason i'm going to bait i don't know man he doesn't make that big of a difference he just hasn't he really hasn't socrates unfortunately I have to downgrade we need another upgrade there to kind of bring it together son what do we do here with three of them we got the 90s with the fire on the ice and then you got the 89 with the sbc the player of the month i'm going to give foot champs and then both 90s you pick your poison one costs a little more than the other i th i think they have to go into rank one for what they've accomplished this year kind of like what salah's given us it's undeniable i'm not going to discredit how they've impacted games how they how they've provided that nuance how they've given you moments of glory it's it's it has to be said stoichkov for the weekend all day really enjoy him ter Stegen, cool for the weekend i would just go get the gold i don't think there's a difference with that uh inform versus regular gold if you want them in rank one that's cool if you'd like them in debate also cool i know how this goes carlos tevis bringing in 90s in the big boy categories i i still don't think that he's at the level though i look at him and i say I, I, I get it. Elite levels. I get it. This broken category is untouchable. Valverde. Good enough for the weekend. I think he's getting caught up to at the moment. That's just how I feel. Van Basten. Don't do that. I saw the upgrades with the Dutchman. I'll give him a debate, but I don't think he's taking over. Van der Sar, I still got a lot of love for him. Uh, maybe as my number one goalkeeper of choice, uh, as it stands, I'm going to go ahead and toss him into uh, broken even though I don't know if goalkeepers can really be broken, but if I'm choosing one, Virgil van Dyke, get out of here. Best defender in the game. And uh, I don't think that shifts until he's evened out by another Virgil van Dyke item around team of the season. This is what I mean though. Even the 91, the winter refresh or wild card, I I'm actually, I'm going to put him straight into broken and I'm going to make some sort of category here for Virgil. In fact, one moment, you guys know the deal. Extra broken has been created i'm gonna wait to move some other players but virgil he's in there immediately just so this makes more sense and then we have the green virgil and broken even the 89 overall this item's still good completely qualified i'll put him in rank one for now but he's above even foot champs i used him a couple weekends ago still good to go van Nistroy, i don't really rate him that heavy so i'm gonna put him into the debate as a goalkeeper john luca i don't think you're using him I don't. I, I'm going to give him a nudge just up to debate because some of you guys that are whipping in crosses might be able to take advantage. Vieira to the top. 
What a man. Uh, and I'm going to wait again. We're going to have some movement into extra broken, but I'm not quite there. The 88 Vieira still got to be at least rank one for me. Vinny Jr., is he in that group? We need to know how everything's going to unfold as it stands rank one. But his dribbling and his pace, crazy. Even Vinny's 89 will still do the weekend for you, in my opinion. Rudy Voller, for sure for the weekend. You can join Vinny. Willian, I, I'm telling you, I'm not sure this item is real. I still never see him in anything, but I would go weekend. Ah, I don't like doing it, but Ian Wright's probably got to come into the debate. This Xavi, wow, what a player. I can't believe how good he's been. Uh, we got him into rank one. What an improvement from a 90 to a 91, but it's a world of difference with that item or that player in particular. Shaka, part of the uh, Leverkusen. I don't even want to even call it an experiment. It's just working. Still giving him the debate. Not as meta as some other players. Yashin as now a center back, at least rank one. Yashin, the goalkeeper. I think he's going to join Yashin. In rank one, different sort of situation, but I, I like Yashin. Zanetti's going to bait. This Emery's smooth, easy, easy, easy operator in the midfield. I like what, what's been happening here. We're going to get him into rank one. Ugh, Zico's got to go up front. I think he's still broken with the double five star. Big new addition. Crazy. This list is wild. Zico the 91, which was the SBC. I... He's got to be at least rank one. I like what it is. And again, the versatility is good. I played him as a center mid, a cam, out wide, up front, false nine, support roles. He can do it. He can do it all. Zinedine Zidane, that 96. Uh-huh. And don't worry, Virgil's going to have company, but for now, broken. I'm going to take the 94. We're going to bring him to rank one, which that feels right. And I'm going to take the 92, which was an earlier SBC. We're going to bring him for the weekend, which also feels right. James, I like James a lot still. Following up Zinedine Zidane, though, does does he get above foot champs? I'm not sure. Saliba, good money. I think a lot of you guys would want him higher. I, I, he probably does enough for rank one. Solid, solid center back. Chloe Kelly is solid. Money, uh, you might lean for her to be in rank one depends what you need how you're fulfilling fast providing whippage she has a five star weak foot good play styles is marquisio back it's been a question i would say so we didn't see him in any rotations and he's pretty clear rank one at least in my eyes alex scott probably deserves a little more recognition she's been consistent this year even her previous hero items yaya torre i'm still giving him rank one but He's on a, a little bit of a downward spiral. It's not even his fault. The comp is that deep. The comp is crazy. Varon, I like him still in rank one. Super reliable. Good old trusted Varon. Timo Werner, the burner. I'll take him to the weekend. I don't know if he has enough substance to move beyond that. Not with the, the level of players that we're dealing with this video in particular. Barnes has been fantastic for me. I don't know if he can get out of the debate though. That being said, Davies. Wow, what an item. I'm giving him rank one. I would hear cases, though, if you need to even pull him up to broken. He's really standing out. He's grown into the game well. Doku, I know what he's going to do. Can't stop him. Rank one. Nunez, I think it's a little maybe overpriced and overrated. A little too much hype there. Still dangerous, though. Still dangerous. He's probably better than Timo Werner. Some folks are trying to cook in price point with upgrades. Just because he's better than Timo, does he get out of this category? I, I don't know. He's on the fence for me. Torres, debatable. Rykard, debatable. Zola, not debatable. I love the Zola item. I think he's good enough to, to get himself into a new a new sector here. We're going to put him into the, the rank one tier. Wow, this is going to be a crazy review. If you've gotten to this point of the video and you have not dropped some love, please and thank you. Let's review. If you're new to these parts, we typically don't move around the pine. I, I just don't see that happening. It's been a consistent. I'm looking though. Erps, is there a combo there? Could Melito go up to debate potentially? I'm not a Harry Kane guy. It's not going to happen. It pains me to have bird camp here. Is anyone going down? I'm taking Shaka anywhere. Is anyone going up? I think the easy arguments to maybe move up, Lauren James, I just didn't, I didn't love her. Some of y'all will scream off the balcony about... Lewandowski and what he's given you. I get it. De Jong's probably been enough of a factor this year. I'm going to go ahead and move him up to foot champs. That feels right. Luis Diaz, I get it, but there's too many options that I just have a preference to. I'm looking at Cancelo, obviously been in and out of minute getters. Allison, he had his time. Lukaku, just for the sheer physicality, he will bulldoze you. I'm going to go ahead and get him into foot champs. I'm pretty good with that. Odegaard and I have had good times, but 
I, I understand what's available, what the current market looks like. Foot Champs as a row just looks outrageous. I've never had so many rows. Eight rows, so seven and a half rows. You can't even see all the rows. I think I'm gonna jump around. So let, let's fill into the extra broken. I'm adding one more row. I didn't think I would do this. Goat. We're gonna be very elite with goat, but that's what it is. So in order to be in goat, I think you have to be the number one in your position. I think Rudehold's gonna go up to extra broken. I don't even know if Holland is going to get GOAT, but he's been doing so much at that competitive scene. He's a difference maker. He's a different type of player. I would even take the, the winner, Virgil, and put him into extra broken. Mbappe, these team of the years, that category. This Dino, that category. I feel better about this. Vieira is the best holding mid we probably have in the game. You could talk about him as a center mid. I, th I think Mia Hamm's got to be here. I, I really do. A Hansen has to be there. Where's R9? R9 got to be in there. I'm, I'm just looking through. We're going to make some hard choices here on who we want. Because right now in the midfield, we have... We don't really, we don't have a center mid. We don't have a classic center mid. So, uh, Pateus is going to go up for me. Rodri's going to go at least to extra broken. I think I think Rodri, I would prefer to Bon Mati, Which, I don't know if that's a hot take. I'm basically making the starting 11, if you could, in, in the GOAT category here. Kind of trying to, at least. Georgie Best goes up. It, it's, it's a crazy group, bro. If I've taken a partner for Virgil van Dijk, it's probably Rio Ferdinand. So if that's our two center backs, there you go. Then if we're going full backs, go ahead and give Mendy the left back. I would take him over Teo. I hate his price. I hate that you can't get him. I don't like any of that, but I'm just moving. I'm moving right now. We're really circumventing, but I'm, I'm trying to choose one. I think Messi, how can Messi not be GOAT? How can he not be there? Where's Frimpong come into this from a right back perspective or Ona? I think this 93 Mbappe is extra broken. Which means we're going to move up the gold Mbappe. Which means I'm going to move up the gold Virgil van Dijk. Which means Bon, bon Mati got to go up. Carlos got to go up. I think Cruyff got to go up. It's crazy, bro. I never had these types of decisions at this level. What are we doing with Lothar? Lothar got to go up. Maldini got to go up. Am I taking Ferdinand over Maldini? I think I'm taking Ferdinand. So what I'm trying to give you in the GOAT category, I think, is 11. So we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Currently, we have 11. So I'm giving you an 11 there. That is my goal. Teo's going to extra broken. Frimpong bumps up. Ona bumps up. Karkawi bumps up. All these team of the year items got to go. They got to. Cool with Vandesar being here. Salvo's got to bump up. Henri's frontlining this. But if that's where Mbappe's at, that's probably the right place. I'm cool with Neymar being in here. Vince has been been something. Eusebio has been something. Pele right there. But I, I don't think he gets into that 11. That's the issue. Zico. Zinedine. There. I basically rotated. If anything, I've gotten, I'm, I'm breaking up maybe some of the rank one and foot champs, if anything. All right. So we're doing this. Vinny goes up. Kerr, KDB. Leal's got to be up here, I think. Hansen. Even, even, yeah, 94 Holland, dude. What a problem. Yeah. Pop is good. Hull, it's still good. Man. When you, when you have like this unlimited budget, you're just dealing with the highest rated and the most comprehensive grouping. How do they not go there? How do they not go there? I'm looking at some of these icons. My selection is elite. Do we want to pull up anyone from foot champs now that we're back down here? Where's Botch at? I think I think 90 overall Botch has done too much. I'm probably going to leave a lot of foot champs alone, whether it's controversial or not. What you're seeing in foot champs or the weekend league, I, I, generally, I think that's going to stay around. Um, I saw that Zola and Xavi have been just prime. Pateus probably has to be up one. It's crazy. It's a crazy group. It's wild. Does Salah really deserve to not be in broken? Same with Rashford or even Puskas now. Like, bro, break me off a piece of that Kit Kat, dog. Freaking monster. All right, we're going to get one more row, I think. So what we've got here, we've got the 11 and GOAT. I don't think it's moving. I guess that's our starters. The extra broken. I mean, these guys are ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Simply ridiculous. Like, some of this comes down to what's been accessible to you, what positions you need, your preferences. I was just trying to give us an 11. What I felt like was an 11 that just, you see it, you out of there. You rage quit and you out of there. Does Cole Palmer probably sneaks in. I love, I love this Xavi. I think Xavi probably gets into broken. It's crazy. Which means that like Salah got to go. Rashford got to go. Maybe Yaya holds up. I don't know if I'm as sold on this Griezmann to just give him that automation. Diani's done a lot for the culture. Goalkeepers are going to let sit tight. Bomb pass doors probably cut off at this point. Lucio needs one more upgrade. Jarzinho, active. Rooney active doku brand new we just got botch on a pusher marquisio on a pusher saliba on a pusher garnacho some of y'all will argue for I, I i'm not that mad here i think zola's really slept on the vieri you gotta go after the big dog 
Uh, Cafu will go into broken. I've never had this many players and I've never had a review session like this. That's where I'll leave off. So the pine didn't change a lot. The debatable, I didn't want to spend a bunch of time with. That's just the reality. So there's some hot takes in there. When we got the foot champs, it got outrageous. There's just so many options. I'm just spoiled for choice. Uh, most of these players are probably better than just the weekend league. I'm sitting here thinking like, I don't know, like how many in foot champs are actually better than what we've got here sitting in rank one. And the same thing goes for how many in rank one are better than what you've got in broken. I don't want to just simply move everyone up. You could make a case for a lot of these players. I mean, my ability with Cantona is nice. I promise you. Here we are. I think Renard maybe goes up even to extra broken. I, I'm really enjoying Kerr. I'm really enjoying Sophia Smith and, and, and this and that. I just, it's tough. Maybe Vincent goes up. There's not that much movement that I can do here. Like these players are all the best of the best. Seriously, this has been my hardest tier list I've ever done. Let me know in the comment section. We can have plenty of open-ended back and forth. I've never ranked this many players. I have never had this much internal reflection and I feel like my eyes are shot. Bright lights everywhere we've been recording for a long time today. I appreciate you and I have a lot more content coming out ASAP, ASAP.